It's on the go, so he's going to be... Because that guy's not going to want to wait. Yeah. He's got. He's probably IFR. Since 5 8 4 3 exec tower, me 1-8, clear for takeoff, south departure, approved, says head be a left turn. 1-8, clear for takeoff, 5 8 4 3 You can now go to Ettery. Um, now wait a minute because we're going to cut their airspace. Okay. So we'll readjust. All right. Am I going to three? Yeah, we're going to three. Okay, so the three three three, and then we changed it to four four four. Now, I know this is new since you learned to fly, and I don't know if Canada does it different, although I'm betting they do the same. Um, but, so it used to be good, they used to say, like, good, medium, poor, and all that for yeah. the runway as well. And what happened is, is it's not the entire runway that is in a certain condition. So, they changed it actually even since I started flying. Um, so this is gonna be new to you. They changed it to a system of numbers and there's three numbers. And so it's like this one was three, three, three. And most of the time you'll hear them all the same. Um, occasionally you might hear like three, three, four or something like that, but usually it'll be like all the same. Um, and so what they're doing is, I'm gonna watch this guy right there. Um, what it is is 333, three, three, beginning, middle, and end of the runway. So we were using um, runway 18, right? Yeah. So it was um, medium, 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 all the way down the runway to 18. Now, if it said 334, three, that would be medium, medium, good all the way it would be medium medium uh, actually that would be weird it would be 433 three, which would be good medium medium okay. so it would be good at the approach end of 18 and then medium in the middle and then medium at the departure end of 18 going to come with 8 so I'll load that up here and AOS is 118 Five, brief. Uh, twelve fourteen is my decision so, altitude. So let's start at the beginning. All You're right. going to be coming to Ettery. Right. We're going to have to do our our turn. Right. So Ettery. what kind of hold do you think it's going to be? Uh. If you need to expand a out. Teardrop. Yeah, if you guys gonna say if you're gonna need to expand out, probably a teardrop. We we're kind of right on that line where it might give us a, yeah, I think it's teardrop. I, I agree with that. Yeah, because we're slightly north of it. All right, so we'll do a teardrop, probably. The Ettery, we'll see what happens when we get there. All right, let's hear the weather there. Okay. Two, zero, zero, at niner knot, peak gun. One eight knot visibility more than one eight nine zero. Sky I doubt there's 189 knot wind gusts. Temperature one Celsius. Let's hope not. Two point minus five. Yeah, Celsius. hell of a wind gust. Altimeter three zero four one inches of mercury. Audible Municipal Airport automated weather observation one six three five Zulu. Wind one niner zero at niner knot. Peak gust one eight knot. Visibility. Um, well, more than you'll be happy to know it's ninety nine knot winds. Sky condition. Gusting clear. to one eighty nine. So uh, we'll probably die, but we're going to give it a shot. Dew point minus. I'm going to say this is not relevant anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been nice flying with you. <laughs> yeah. That's a. Uh, Oh, the Fi cat, final cat might, five tornado. But five might be a little rough. Or final might be a little rough. It's okay. 
Let's remember airspeed's important. <laughs> yeah. We'll be flying backwards for most of the approach, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, if we start seeing ourselves go backwards, um, we can probably just turn around and come back home. If we see Toto flying by <laughs> our windshield, well... Or a Twister, the cows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What eight, one nine, <laughs> or oh. nine, nine, nine to, yeah, cow, nine, nine to one, eight, nine, I, I think is, uh, somebody might need to go out there and take a look at that thing. I don't think it's working. And we're going to do, we're not going to have, we won't do a full turn and a hold, but I want to see if you remember, I want you to set it up that as if you wanted to stay in the hold. I want to see if you remember how to do that because he will make you do that on his, on your check ride. And I know we've done it a few times. Uh, this will be a full stop for 2422 Romeo. Alright. So let's see if you remember. If not, let me know. That's one of the reasons I want to do this. I'm trying to rack my brain here. Remember, so remember how we've done where if you... Remember I told you he's, one of the things he's going to have you do on your check ride is if you're in the procedure or you're heading to the procedure like here. Yeah. We're going to the hold. Right. And... If they need you to not continue down for whatever reason, or you need to not continue, I have hiccups, sorry. If you need to not continue down for a reason, so say you're not quite ready to shoot the approach yet, right? Yeah, yeah. Or say you are ready, but the person that landed in front of you has a flat, and now uh, center needs you to sit here and hold. Well, somebody goes out there and drags that Cessna off the runway, right? Right. <clears throat> so, um, if that's the case, or I've had I've had this happen twice in practice. Um, you have to wait here because you're in a 182 and you're following a 152, and they're going 70 knots the whole way. Yeah. And the spacing is because you're not allowed to come down until they report that they're on the ground. So you're not allowed to continue past your final approach fix. Okay. So even if the spacing would probably work out, that's that's not allowed. That's just not a thing. So, um, so that being said, there are reasons why you might end up having to hold if you are before the approach and not necessarily just because you've gone missed. So in that case, how do you hold? That's a little better. How do you hold um, before the approach in a RNAV approach? In a VOR approach, it's really easy, right? Because you just sort of keep going around. Right. But when it's an RNAV approach, you need the GPS to draw that circle for you. Yeah. Otherwise, you have no idea where that circle is. Right. So I, I don't really understand what I have to do differently other than... So if we go around, so when we get there... If, when we get there, if we go around this and do the entry, We're going to the it, it will expect to you to reach to, to come, come down. Right right. So, so as you hit Ettery, and we do our teardrop, and we're now on our inbound leg, uh -huh. the GPS is going to nat naturally cycle from coming past Ettery down to now going to Illov. Okay, yeah. What we need to do is get in there and say, no, 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 when we cross Ettery, instead of going to Illov, we want to keep Continue staying the in the hole. circle. Yeah. So do you remember how to do that? I know I've shown you how to do it because it's going to be on your check ride. So I know I've, I know I've told you how to do it. Uh, and I know we've done it. We, and the fact is, if this helps your memory, we did it um, at Mara. So does that help your memory? Something about suspend? Yes. Okay. So, do you remember how to suspend it? Because it's not going to just naturally pop up as an option. you remember what button to push? This one here? Yep. There you go. So you want to do that. I tend to do it on my inbound leg, just to make sure I'm already established on the approach. Or yeah. sorry, established in the hold. I don't do it in the entry. You could do it in the entry, and I've, I've seen people do it, and it takes. I like to just make sure I'm established, and it knows, like, yeah, I'm in the hold. So in my on my inbound leg, I'll push it. Okay. So, yep. So that's what I want you to do. So I want you to set it up like we're going to um, stay, in the hold. stay in the hold, yeah. even though we're really not, because 
you know. All right. I mean, flying four mile legs and in, in like nice weather. <laughs> it's kind of. <laughs> And that is one of the things that he's going to, um, I know he's a sort of, um, it's very much a thing he wants people to do on their check ride. Right. Like every check, every instrument check ride that I've sent to him, they've had to do that. It's his way of, it's kind of his way of telling if you've like really bothered to learn how to use the GPS or you just know how to load an approach. Does that make sense? Yes. So if you stay at... You have to keep hitting the suspend if you stay in the hole. No. Once you hit the OBS and the suspend, yeah. it'll let you keep going around in that circle indefinitely. Okay. So then what you want to do, what I do is just, like, when you want to... So say they give you, like, the hold instructions of, you know, um, Cessna or Skyline 58843. Time now is 12.07 Zulu. Um... You're going to stay in the hold and ex uh, expect further clearance at 12.21 Zulu. Okay. So you got to go around there for, say, you know, 14 minutes. It's going to just keep having you sit there and go around. Then when, say, uh, 10 minutes later he comes on and goes, Okay, 58843, that aircraft's now off the runway. You're cleared to continue down the approach. And you'd say, okay, you know, I'm clear for the approach. So then as you cross, now, that doesn't mean if you're, like, on your outbound leg, you, like, detail it back towards Ettery. Right. You do your hold. Yeah. And you now, the next time you cross Ettery, which is what he'll be expecting, the next time you cross Ettery, you keep continuing on. And then once I do that, um, it should unsuspend, but if not, you can hit the OBS. Okay. And it will unsuspend. Oh, no, you're getting direct. I was wondering about that, if it was oh, going to okay. send you direct. All right. Now, what I do with the direct is kind of do, if you do, if you just turn immediately, you're basically coming back up this way, yeah. and it's too tight, so I go out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I go out a little bit. And then I start my turn. Because otherwise, you're basically coming up this way. You know what I mean? And it's just too... Right. We're exactly on that line between a teardrop and a direct. And I would kind of wondered about that. But I, usually this thing defaults to teardrop. That's why I was kind of going with you. See, once we're in here and we're warm, I'm a happy girl. The guy that has the plane after us is going to have a nice, uh... Yeah, that's Larry. Larry Walters. He, uh... I don't, I don't know if I've met him. He's a, a new member. Oh, okay. I probably haven't met him then. He is, uh... miles. <coughs> part owner of Paul Sign Brewery, where, which oh, is where okay. we had the, uh... Thing Wednesday night? How'd that go? Yeah, it went really well. Did you get a lot of people to go up there? Because I know a few people that were like, I'm not going up that far. Yeah, I'd say there was like 20, 25 people. Okay. Yeah, so see how if we'd have turned in right away? Because even still, we're going to be just a little bit yeah. on the outside. Not too bad. So we could have actually probably gone slightly far, probably when I had you say, I, you know, said like, oh, turn in a little, we probably could have just stayed out there a few seconds longer. Right. But see how even with compensating, we ended up like over a little, but that's fine. Okay, so go ahead and set this up so that it'll stay in the hole. I just hit that now? Yep, hit that. Okay. There we go. So that's all you have to remember when you're check riding. If he, if he says, okay, how would you stay in this hole? Just like it, like, oh, suspend. Yeah. And he's going to be like, good. He'll be, all right, Allison. <laughs> he knows. I. You know why? Because I did, I did, I think on my first person I sent with instrument to him, I, I probably showed them, but I didn't make like a big deal about it. 
And I, they, I'm sure on that check ride they forgot because he was like, well, you know, remember I showed you this and so you just had to push, the, you know, you didn't know how to stay in the hold, which I know I showed him, but that guy was also a very nervous flyer. Um, but he was super stressed about that check ride. He he made more he made he made it worse on himself than any <laughs> any of us did. Yeah, um, well, that happens. Yeah, it does. But after that, I knew that was his thing, and I've made sure everybody else knows he is going to ask you to do this. Here's how you do it. When he says, "How do you stay in the hold?" This is what he means. Push this button, and it's never come up after that. Oh, do you want me to go around again, or? No, no, I just wanted to make sure you... Okay. Because it, that's why we have to do a hold every once in a while. Holds are boring, but until you really need one, then they can they can be a little exciting then. And I want to see, let's see, let's go past our ittery. Okay. It's going to tell you to turn. Let's go past, I, I'm almost certain it'll cycle past once you leave, but... Let's give it a let's give it a go. You might have to just hit suspend again. Uh, plane departing Lee Summit. Is that you? Just taxiing out. Yeah, you have to so hit hit suspend again. All right. Lee trap. And now it should come. One eight full stop. Or I just screwed it up, so we'll see. I'll do this then. I think I screwed it up. Alright, now you're going to Illib. Alright. I think I, sh I t screwed it up by, unsus three by uh, hitting suspend again. Auto of traffic, Skylane 58843 is 10 to the north, will be a low approach straight in on runway 17, Ottawa. How many put flaps in? Um, not this one. I'm going to have us come straight in at OJC, so I'll have you do flappers on that one. Okay. You've been circling a lot lately. If, if my plan at IXD works out. All right. Which I'm hoping it will. And your missed approach instructions here are just going to go be, um, you can fly uh, runway heading up to um, 1,000, and then I'll start vectoring you from there. Uh, from there. I don't see LPV yet. Gonna start dropping down to 2,600. I already took my approach off. Ottawa traffic, Skyline 58843 is five mile final, straight in runway 17, low approach only, Ottawa. Ottawa traffic, Skyline 58843 is two mile final runway 17. Uh, we'll be low approach only, Ottawa. Uh, 